time. So, I'm going to be working on a video. My dad wanted to be a part of it. We're going to do a little facts section, I guess it is. A FAQS, Frequently Asked Questions. What we're going to do. He kept freaking out. He's in one of his one of his moods. He's like, well, you need to get ready to film and this now. I'm like, I've been ready to film. Like, I don't know what you're doing. It's about to get crazy is what I'm saying. It's about to get dumb. Yeah, I had to get set up, Dad. I'm recording right now, but I had to get set up. Come this on. thing just, uh... The bed! It's not just a, a two-minute, hey, go to the shop, bam, get stuff ready. It no, you've been out here for more than two minutes. You've been out here for an hour. I, I have not. I've been getting Son, set up, you up. came out here forever, man. This is some bullshit. I don't like making a big deal about the cigar I'm smoking, by the way. Just kind of like I don't like making a big deal about the thing I'm drinking. For instance, <clears throat> you never heard Ron White talk about what he was drinking. I think I kind of like people asking if they want to know the answer to it. Let me get groomed up here. I like for people to ask if they want to know the answer. Otherwise, I think, you know, it's not something I want to make it a focal point of. Anyway, um, I need to I think, are we ready? Did you get that out of the way? What? Whatever your PSA announcement. I don't know, are you going to get a haircut anytime soon? I just got one. I know, it's, mm. You ready? No. Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We are super happy that you guys are here because I don't know if you guys experience uh, break fade. Making a mess, cutting hoses. My CDs and my light. Why would you do that? Oh my God, what a idiot. Uh, losing modulation, losing brakes on a trail. Holy crap, I've got no brake in the rear. I've got no brake. I'm tired of the bleeding process. I am tired of cutting hoses and, <clears throat> and praying and hoping that something uh, works or something doesn't fail. Ordering barbs and all this. Are you tired of this? Guys, we may or may not have received uh, something that's going to help fix that issue. We just found, we just ordered. No, we didn't. We didn't find it or order it. We just got. With a little bit of mail time, our boy. A while back. Our patron. Oh, Chuck you, baby. Sent us some two pre double drive mechanical brakes. That's right. I thought these things were oh, done. Those ones from Chuck you. These are Chuck you. Oh, Racksmith sent us some too. We might be doing those pretty soon here. I thought these brakes were done. You thought they were done? I thought these were like old school. They come on all Walmart bikes, whatever. Get the hell out of here. I have some never seen on. a Walmart bike with that brake <laughs> on it. Well, Thank this you. one's a little bit more intense, a little more upgraded. We're fixing to do the initial impressions and install with this on one of our bikes that everybody knows we need it. Okay? Um, it's our Marin Bolinas Ridge 2 Project Cheech. We've got the Z-Race brakes on there. It has been a mess. We've changed the pads. We've Dude. bled. This bike has been upside down. We've we've lost brakes. It's We it's have terrible. done about five bleeds. It's terrible. Ble bleeds? Bleeds. bleeds. We've done a little bit of everything, and it's just, it's, no. It's not working, guys. It's no. one of those things that's so frustrating when you're going down a trail trying to do a review, and you you lose brakes, and then you have to kind of lollygag the rest of the way, and you know what that does? That makes us lollygaggers. lollygaggers. That's, that's, a great that's what it movie. does. Okay, that's so a great movie. I'm hoping that these two pre brakes, the double drives, um, on the later episode, we're gonna be doing the real time review. Um, but we're gonna be installing these on today's episode. We've got some new cables. We've got some awesome Avid levers back there, and all this has been supplied by Chuck Yu. So thank you, Chuck Yu. Without further ado, let's get into the episode. Let's get into the install. Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go with showing you what all we have got now. First thing we're going to be using, because remember, we're going from hydraulic to cable actuated. This is the alligator brake cable kit. All right. Now, guys, most of the stuff alligator you can... Alligator uh, brake cable kit. Yeah, it's just, apparently it's tough stuff. If you guys want to check out any of this stuff, we'll uh, try putting the fill in the description below. All right, so we got some... I don't know what the hell these are. Look at these. Oh, you got to get a whiff of this. Dude, that is crazy looking. Those are like... You know, those are cable ends, but they're almost like barb shaped, like something that you would see with a hydraulic brake. I guess just to keep it from being crimped, or uh, what do you call that whenever something's uh, kinked? Keep it from getting kinked or something? Oh, what what the hell's that? I don't know. This all this cable stuff is just completely. It's all just foreign to me. It's so foreign to me because I'm not old school. 
Okay, now. Every bike we have bought except for, every bike we've got brand new has had cable brakes on it, so. We've got the cable. Okay, it looks pretty fancy. It's black. I do like that. And this bike's a 29er, so I'm not sure if we'll have to use all of this or not. And then we've got some uh, alligator hose. Looks like your typical hose. Looks like just like the stuff you go to the bike shop and buy uh, whenever you have to do some derailleur work. But. Is it supposed to be uh, special? I don't know. Um, that's the whole kit there. I'm not sure on how much this stuff was, but you guys can check out the affiliate links in the description below. Okay, now, uh, Chuck, you sent these to us a while back. These here are the Avid brake levers. I mean, guys, it's been probably like a year and a half. Um, he sent us to these and was saying, hey, if you guys ever happen to um, have some hydraulic brakes fail, you want to go to the old school design? <laughs> well, uh, I'm so glad he sent us these because we're fixing to use them, old Chuck You, It looks pretty fancy for being a mechanical brake lever. Uh, we've got a little reach adjustment. Of course, that's going to bring the lever closer or further to the bar. Oh, well, actually, that's not a reach adjustment. That's like a pull adjustment. I don't know. What is that called? Look at that. That actually tightens and loosens the cable going forward and backwards, well, up and down. So whenever you pull, it kind of determines how much uh, pressure we've got. So we've got that, right? Never seen one of those before. And I believe that is the throw adjustment right there. So that's pretty interesting, pretty sleek, but I do like the lever design. You know, a lot of the uh, a lot of the brakes, a lot of the more budget style brakes, budget things that we get in here, usually the lever almost feels like you're gonna squeeze it off whenever you're riding, if you're having to do a bunch of braking. And this one here actually looks to be decent. It's not just a real thin piece of stamped steel. I think it's aluminum, but it's got a little bit of girth to it. So I think we'll be happy with that. We'll let you find out in the real time review just how well it feels on the fingers. Now let's get to the main course these here are the two pre double drive brakes now the reason i'm going with the model or maybe the design of these things is called double is because when you squeeze this here check the pad out do you guys see that there's actually two pistons that squeeze yeah so double drive it does come with an adapter for a rear 140 or a front 160 and they're both the exact same for it to be a double drive, something that we've never seen before on this channel, and also to have some thinned um, pads, that is so cool, man. This was definitely a bike that we had issues as far as overheating goes, so uh, old Chuck you, a Wolf Tick Nation, I'm hoping that this really helps. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I'm going to take this these pads out here, and we'll take a look at those pistons here in a second. But I want to show you the cool thing, the difference with uh, mechanical actuated brakes that are, are cable actuated. Um, we get this style here. Everybody's seen this lever before. Now, when you go to squeeze it, if you guys notice, it's pulling this pad, the pad on the left there, into the one on the right. So that's just pretty much a wall that you're hitting. Not only does that just pinch a rotor in there, I think it just kind of bends the rotor a little bit. You probably get a lot more wear and uh, maybe a little bit more warpage on a rotor with uh, this style of brake as opposed to the double drive so just get constant pressure throughout in the double drive is what's exciting me so definitely um you know these here are not the worst uh but i think they could be better and i'm thinking that these uh, two pre's are going to be the better all right let's go ahead and take out the pad and let's take a look and see what this thing might be made out of okay so that's a good sign already please whatever you do don't be touching the pads and stuff i don't want to hear people telling us how bad you contaminated them i ain't gonna touch them so this is a good sign already i was worried with these ones since these are mechanical brakes for some reason i thought well maybe the thinned portion is just a design on the caliper itself and it's not connected to the pad so that's good that it's all one piece so it really will help cool all the way throughout the downside is i don't know what we could replace that with once this thing wears out Okay. Now, if you guys see, there is some metallic in here. Um, if you guys know of any type of pad that we could replace this with, let us know. And we might be doing an upgrade after we do the real-time review. Maybe the pads won't be good. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully they are. But if not, I'm you sure know. someone. Uh, you know, we got so many people that uh, Charlie Keo, Berserker, Chuck U, Jamie H4. Uh, somebody out yeah, there. Somebody will know. know. Somebody will know for sure. But. All right, well, that's that. And then, again, you guys can see the double piston action in here, or what they call a driver, I don't know. But they're actually equal, which is nice. You know, with the hydraulic stuff, you just don't know if it's going to be pushing more on the left side or the the uh, the right side. You just don't know exactly what kind of pressure you're dealing with here. A lot of times you have to get a flathead screwdriver or a piece of plastic and pry on this piston and pry on that piston. Here, we pretty much know if the cable's hooked up right, we're going to have a full um, pull. You know what I mean? So I do like that. And that's a huge 
space for air to flow through. So the cooling with these fin pads, I think is really gonna help. But let's go ahead and uh, put this thing back together. Let's start with the install on the Marin Bolinas Ridge 2. Well, well, don't start yet. You can you can wait. Hang on. Wait on me. All right, guys. Well, here is the Cheech Marin Bolinas Ridge 2. Okay. Now, the reason uh, we've talked about it on previous episodes, we're gonna be switching these brakes over today, is because it's got the god awful Z races. Okay. For the longest time, I have been in love with this idea, and I'm still am. Don't get me wrong. Of hydraulic brakes, you know, like. You you, <laughs> you buy every marketing thing there is, hook, line, and sinker. You're not going to start talking with that in your mouth, are you? Uh-uh. Of course I won't. I hate when I feel talk with stuff like this in my mouth. Yeah. It's crazy that it's going to be this easy to install these brakes. Can't stop dropping stuff. It's going to be that stuff. easy. That's just going to be this easy. I mean, it's nuts, man. No hydraulic fluid to worry about. Every time we do a brake job, it's like, hey, we better try to make sure we get started really early in the night because uh, we don't know what we're going to run into. That's always the thing. We don't know what's going to happen. You know what we should have done beforehand? Though? We should have weighed the whole setup, see what it weighed, versus like a, the hydraulic ones coming off it. See if there's a weight savings difference. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do another episode. I think they're, I think they're gonna be pretty comparable. I don't think it's, I think it's negligible one way or another. Another. What's rubbing? This uh, hose down here. The hydraulic hose we're fixing to get rid of. That's awesome. I, I think it looks cool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, it has a neat kind of an old school look to it, uh, which I like. And what we're gonna do here, like everybody. Just because everybody's they're, gonna... their mechanical brakes don't make them old. I think that's that's good to go there. I don't know. This is uh, this is gonna be interesting, man. This is something I highly recommend you guys get. These well, are. Well, we don't recommend stuff. Well, we're recommending this tool. We're not recommending it. We're suggesting that you might make it easier for you if you if you're gonna do this kind of stuff. These here are fancy. Well, we're not recommending it. Fancy cable cutters, okay? For the longest time, I thought I could get away with using the needle nose, right? And like, let me use the end of these. And now they don't cut as clean. These things cut through cable housing, through cable. These are amazing. Get yourself. They make a pair. your life easier when you're dealing with yes. cable brakes. So much easier. Yeah. Well, every yeah. Well, yeah. Cable brakes. You're right. Derailers, all that kind of stuff. Okay, we're gonna cut this guy right here. This is the front. This one can afford to be short. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the rear? Where's the rear? Hang on. Where's the rear? Right. Hang on. Use this to do the rear. Okay. And then worry about your front, which is way shorter and way easier to deal with. Okay. We'll use this to do the See, rear. This is where my agent. Would, would you have to learn help for a reason. Oh, don't do that though. Please don't do that. It's official. Perfect. Okay, so we done figured out how this is supposed to go. We're gonna do just have an extra bit of cable, kind of similar to a derailleur, which you would do. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so we done figured out where this thing is supposed to go and how it's supposed to be right on the little uh, barrel adjuster here. Now, just like with a derailleur. Um, we are going to actually give ourselves a little bit of room, right? Some room for adjustment. And then we're going to insert it up here just because we want to make sure that we don't shortchange ourselves on the cable itself. See, that's called wisdom. Oh there we go, right there. Wisdom. Wisdom. Okay, let's match up the slits there. Right there and there. We're going to put this guy in here. Give ourselves a little bit of room on this adjuster. That'll probably be enough right there. I have to say, the quality of the cable, then mm -hmm. the quality of the cable is super nice. You can tell a big difference with this stuff and the stuff that normally comes on bikes. Right there. It's perfect. And there we go. A little close to the rotor there with that design. But, buddy, is that going to get some air? Look at that thing. All right, let's mess with this lever. and Let's see what kind of adjustments we got. All right, guys. So earlier I thought this here was the reach adjustment. This is something pretty cool. The reach adjustment, I think we've all, you know, decided is here, right? So, obviously, it's a pretty, pretty good ways away from the hand. Get behind the bike here. Pretty good a ways away from the hand. Like it's gonna be a two-finger, but I gotta stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten it. 
And of course that lever you guys can see is going to be scooting closer to the bar. Okay, so here's the reach adjustment. We're gonna tighten it pretty good here. I got smaller hands. I don't have big old meat hooks like the Wolfman over there. So definitely now a little bit closer. Okay. My hands are good for slapping. Mm-hmm. I know. So we've got the reach there. Now really there's no pull. So I might have to adjust that down there. I might have to adjust the amount of cable that goes in, but we'll mess with this little barrel adjuster. Okay, now we've got decent pull. And something I was kind of looking at was this guy here. I was thinking, well, is that the reach? What exactly is that? What this is, is it, it basically is almost like, what'd you call it, a modulation? Look, this is all the way tight, okay? And what it's doing is the cable that goes in here, it's got a little adjuster that's going back and forth. Are you asking or telling people? I'm kind of doing both. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But you see this? It goes up and down, okay? You guys saw that. So look, right here, is basically that's where it's hitting okay and i have to do a little more adjusting when i go to loosen this now look where it's hitting just a little bit further back i go loosen it more even further back so it kind of messes with the modulation that is neat it's so simple see so i thought i was gonna have to do more adjustments on the caliper itself but i think right here is right where i want this thing it might even be a one finger i love the way it feels but i was thinking i might have to adjust the cable length but now guys after just unscrewing this Bam, I hit that wall right there, and that's where I want it to be. Mm. That is so cool. I'm going to try for the first time and try these levers, these brakes. You ready? I'm ready. Let's let's get it. Oh wow! Hang on. The front. Woo, buddy. You might go over the bar. I mean, talk about. You know, the, one of the things that knocks on mechanical brakes is how hard it is to pull it. But really, that's pretty sensitive. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to try the rear. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Crap. <laughs> that's not bad at all. Now the, you'll get a little cable stretch. See, I think that's. I'm gonna get. You're that. gonna get a little cable, but you'll be able to adjust it with your barrel. Yep. barrels one thing i'm worried about is getting a little bit of slippage yeah it's it, it will a little bit but you'll just have to deal with it and it, it'll get better but you like the feel yeah i do i think it feels great i just mm -hmm. i liked how easy it was and no mess show me the rear how close it gets to the the grip what was that what was that what was that did you hear that it went Psh! what was that the grip the grip Is it you? No. What the hell was that? Son, that's got me freaked out. What I have was like that? I an air leak. I don't know. Dude. That's that, was, that was weird. You guys heard it. I hope I hope they I hope that picked it up. Uh, they're gripping the finger so much, guys. I'm thinking it might be a little one finger action. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with two. Yeah, just because you're gonna need that extra little pull because of the mechanical. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. Two is gonna be. Two is probably gonna be it. That's yeah. that's all right. You know, um, most most hydraulics are two, but we'll find out in the real time review. Thank you to Chuck, you Chuck, you baby, for mm -hmm. sending everything. It doesn't sound right when I say it. No. It doesn't.